Hello everyone, Amud here from Retarget Common YouTube channel and I am here with another topic of Recessured. So in previous videos we have learned to map or convert JSON object. JSON object, simple JSON object and nested JSON object response to POJO classes so that we can easily extract the values. Okay. So now in this video we are going to learn how can we perform the same thing when we have JSON array as response. Okay, because whenever we are hitting any API, so we can get JSON array as response also. Just for an example, let me go to JSON online data dot org and uh, think uh, there is a customer. Okay, like suppose Amazon. In Amazon, there will be one API which will give all the saved address by the customer, right? So obviously, when when it needs to return multiple addresses multiple details of the same customer okay multiple similar details means in if you are if you are using amazon or any e-commerce tool e-commerce app so there you will be storing multiple addresses right so if i want to face that all the saved address of a customer so i should have an api which can give us right so so suppose we have an api which is giving me the list of addresses okay so which that will be a part that will be a json array only so similar to something like this okay so what i'll do i will just copy this much okay so think of this this json array consists of suppose there's uh suppose i am a customer of amazon and when i hit this api to fetch all my saved address so it will return me two addresses right so obviously it cannot be written as a json object here because we need to return n numbers right it may be one also it may be zero also right it may be any number so okay but dot negative so since i have two addresses so it is returning me a json array okay possible now how can we convert this json array response it is simple json array right simple JSON uh, response. How can we convert this response to a POJO class so that we can easily extract the values out of it? Okay, if we can get the length like how many addresses a customer has, right? This, this type of details we can easily fetch it. Okay, so let's start. So I'll go to Eclipse project where I am writing all the codes. Let me create a new class and the class name I will give convert convert simple json array response to pojo okay so before that what i need to do so let me increase the font size okay so before this i we need to perform two things first we need to create pojo class for these things right we know that how can we do that because this is a list okay but list of what list of a json object right list of json objects this json object we can represent it as a pojo class right and we have already created a pojo class called address in my previous videos okay which is representing this particular json object here right we have how some street name city state country so we we are already done with the pojo class okay so if you have a doubt how can we create it so you can go through my previous videos where i have explained it in step by step details okay so okay so now we need to create a dummy api or mock api so let me go to mocky right mocky and uh, go to new mock this also i've said in my previous videos so you can go and watch like how can you mock the data or mock the api response okay click on generate my step response we are ready with the dummy api or fake api okay so here let me add a main method okay so what i need to do this assured okay so we need to get because we have, I am using a mock API get 
okay let me push the url here okay and once once the session is hitting this git api it will give it will give me the same response whatever we expecting right because we have mocked the data we have mocked one api which will give you that same response right so we need to cast it sorry uh, we need to convert it or we need to parse it okay in in a pojo class okay so we know that we have a method called edge which we have used already in my previous videos okay so if it is json object then we can simply write at this dot class right already we have done but here we don't have address directly address is dropped inside a json array okay so what i need to use so first let's uh, so simple thing uh, like we have array uh, we have array concept in java right same thing here it it is it is not address dot class now okay it is not address dot class now okay because address dot class means it should be only this much right only this much if it is only this much then we only we can write address dot class which we have already done in my previous videos but here we have multiple addresses so we cannot use address dot class we need to use address array okay address array one address okay you can store it multiple address how to store it into an array you can store it right then you can store into same type address addresses okay so this is the way we need to convert that json array response to pojo now this is an array we know we can print the size so let me print the size size of or maybe we can print number of addresses okay something meaningful and to put here addresses dot length right in array we have length as a property and we can get the how many addresses a customer has okay and let me uh, print like address i want to get the first one right obviously you need to use index 0 first right what i use address of 0 address of 0 dot get city right you can use because once you're doing the address of 0 or address of any index okay make sure that you are not going array index out of bound okay we have only two addresses here so address of 0 when when we do we're getting address kind right address object now so we can use the getter methods of that address class right because this is address array okay now you can use git city or whatever you want to use similarly if you want to print the second address uh, second address uh, city address of first dot get city okay so let me run this program okay so yeah we can see number of addresses too and the first ad first city uh, is bangalore second is delhi right so this is the way we need to parse it okay so this is the basic concept which we which we need to keep in mind okay so it's very easy concept right uh, but still if you have any doubt you can comment on this video i will try to explain in some other way okay so here uh, if you have watched my previous videos, so there I have used list, right? If I need to create a JSON array, so I was creating, I was using a list, right? So in the next video, I will, I will explain like how can you convert, how can you do the same thing, okay? Whatever we have done here, instead of using add days, I will use the list, okay? This is good if you have only a uh, simple JSON array, but when you have nested one, so it will be difficult for you okay so in next video i will explain about how can we convert simple json array to a to pojo classes using the list okay so thank you everyone if you like my video please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you